We called it St Peter's Reimagine because we had to reimagine the space. We've taken it back, we've claimed it for people, for nature, for mental health and for friendship. We just looked at it and went, oh my gosh, it's going to take months, years to do this. But we just got more and more people coming and the more people that came, the quicker it happened and three and a half acres and we did it. We've had residents, we've had congregants, ex-rough sleepers, some homeless people. They all come along because they see the same group here every Tuesday. And that's been the gift of this project. It's everyone from every walk of life. We've had kids from the age of five up to 88, I think, is our oldest volunteer. They come for the camaraderie, the bonding, and to make a real difference to the community. And it's been so positive for everyone. <laughs> everyone who's just watched the site come alive. The big thing has been to be here with wonderful fellowship. I'm really happy to be here, to have found all these really good people in my life. It was such fun, and I <laughs> just carried on doing. We didn't know where the time has gone through, just the area of this place and the peacefulness of it. I think this whole St. Peter's community is welcoming to all walks of life. Mm. My guess too. My guess too. We've got a group from Bournemouth and Paul College who've come and we've been doing some work maintaining some of the grounds. It's just been amazing for the students to be outside, not in a classroom, learning things about the environment and about nature, but more importantly, just experiencing it, experiencing being outdoors, experiencing the cold and the wind and the rain and all the things we protect ourselves from. And the students go home so happy and so proud of what they've achieved and they all love it. My name is Sam Crosby. I am a storyteller. I was invited by Sue from Dorset Wildlife Trust to work with the community to capture their stories, to understand their challenges, the bonds that they've made with one another and their connection to the site and to nature. It's particularly poignant here in this little haven right in the middle of Bournemouth. You can hear the traffic going by. We're metres away from the main road and the high street. But just a moment here is insects filtering through the light, squirrels in the trees and pair of peregrines circling the belfry. There are certain things that art, the creativity, videography, photography, poetry, storytelling, fire can capture the essence of what's going on with a group of complex and nuanced human beings that might not otherwise be able to be captured. Grows in the dark as well. <laughs> <laughs> My name's David Simpson. I'm a garden app by trade. After the first pandemic, I lost my house. I had the misfortune to end up homeless. I heard about the project from a doctor because I needed something to do basically rather than do what normal homeless people do around here, which is drink and take drugs all the time. And it saved my life, it really did. Like, yeah. I was up here in a really bad space. And I was praying to St Peter to let me in early because I, I didn't want to be here. But, and then two days later, him saying to me, well, you can come in, but I need to do the garden. <laughs> 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 yeah. And then they sent me on another path. Like, yeah. One couple, and they've lived there for 30 uh, odd years, and they've never, ever walked through here and they could iron bless them. They were so sweet, they couldn't believe, you know, that they, they could walk here, they could enjoy it. I think we're getting a response to our creative input. And, uh, you know, obviously we're, we're joining forces with nature. And look what nature can do. The peace oh, yeah. that the nature brings to you calms you down and makes you feel great to be part of this group and the world. It's something that needs to be looked at to allow other people to reimagine some of these spaces and gives them the confidence to start work on them. And also to work with Dorset Wildlife Trust because it costs money to buy plants, it costs money to get the right tools, and you need some funding. And they have been wonderful to work with, really good. I'm delighted uh, to be part of this project. I think they've worked so hard. What they've done here is amazing. You realise there's a climate crisis and it would be great if there was a bit more focus on the species and the wildlife. 
there's a lot more spaces around what could be opened up to the public. Find any local projects you can, to step up and help, like, yeah, because it's, it's good to do as well. It's like cleansing for the soul. <laughs> it's really like, yeah. Life. Enjoyment. Rewarding. Fun. That's it, educated. Friendship and community. It's pretty much just being around nature, being around people. I mean, how amazing is that? Like being on a campfire with song and everything, it, it can be like a dream come true. <laughs>